Um, the market's down by 4%. Local investors seem to be showing more interest and pushing, pushing prices up. Is that correct? Yes, uh, the local uh, investor is trying to uh, sell off the shares where they felt that they, they've been uh, shying away from due to ha having burnt their fingers in the past. But uh, the sort of prices they're asking for are not very, um, are not being taken up by buyers. So that is also having some sort of downward pressure on the, on the index. However, they have started to show interest in the market, especially after the Safaricom stock hit the five shilling mark. Of course, oversupply might cause a problem, but uh, at the moment, we're looking at stagnation towards the uh, middle of January as people uh, go for their holidays. A lot of activity on the equity bank counter with foreigners uh, seem to be buying up a lot of the stock um, and locals selling. Tell us a bit about that yesterday. Well, uh, that's an interesting one. We haven't gotten any uh, in new information from equity, and um, so and equity has been leading the expansion strategy. I believe it's uh, just a speculative trades going on, and uh, I think uh, foreigners are continuing to take um, positions in those stocks that they feel are underpriced. And I believe that uh, equity, having been quite a leader in especially the SME sector, which has been driving the economy, has been one of the most interesting stocks over the year. And staying in the banking sector, the big news yesterday was uh, that CFC Stanbic um, with Liberty, uh, South Africa's Liberty buying out its insurance business. Um, how do you feel that this deal really positions CFC Sta Stanbic um, in relation to its competitors? Well, that's an interesting development because uh, what we've seen recently with most banks is that they've been going for the uh, financial supermarket model where you walk in and uh, you get all the different um, products under one roof. Uh, CFC Stanbic has gone the way of uh, you know, um, fragmenting into uh, their insurance business and putting it under a different um, umbrella. Well, I still believe that they'll still be, you know, working under CFC Stanbic, which means they're still uh, a single entity. But um, the fact that they intend to list on the market is also quite interesting in that that will also help to deepen and increase the number of insurance firms on our financial sector. I believe uh, the issues here will also pertain to base capital, which I think CFC can manage. Uh, so I don't think there'll be a problem uh, going forward. Well, the stock really didn't move uh, much yesterday, and but there was a bit of buying. Was that pretty much just speculative buying? Well, I think it was uh, speculative. Uh, foreigners bought, it, bought into CFC Stanbic. Um, the local investor was selling out. Um, at the moment, most trading, we've seen turnover go quite low. We've seen uh, investors taking a wait and see stance. I think the market has stagnated. We expect that uh, the market is going to see um, support levels around the 3,000 mark. As during the holiday period, we normally see a period of quiet um, activity, which I don't think is very significant, you know, uh, in the long run. So I think uh, towards the end of January, February is when we can actually put a finger on market direction. I want to just chat about um, that Barclays story um, where they're saying that they are, they are hesitant to lower their lending rates um, after that surprise uh, 75 basis point cut last week. Um, does that have to do with um, government's uh, T-bill? We saw the, the yield dropping 6.9% um, uh, from 7.2%. Uh, wh what are people saying about that right now? Well, banks are still unlikely to um, take the cue because uh, most banks actually base their um, use the benchmark rate as the um, T bill rate, and uh, that is still not, has still not yet come down. I think uh, what is really important is that the banks look more at the sort of risks the market holds, especially now that we are coming from a bearish period and uh, we've come from a 
you know, growth slowdown period. So I think uh, the banks have to look at their models and make a decision on whether they are actually going to take the queue. The thing is we are in a free market here and so um, without any controls it's highly unlikely that the banks will take the queue uh, from the CBK and unless maybe um, one of the leaders does actually you know, lower their rates and this maybe triggers a domino effect to the other banks, it is still quite unlikely that the banks will do so because they haven't done so in the past. So I don't see why this will be any different. I know uh, Kenya's got a great sevens rugby team, but who are you going to be rooting for um, today, especially with the FIFA World Cup final draw taking place in Cape Town today? Well, I'm uh, patriotic. I'll be rooting for our team, as always. And I believe we are going to do some wonders out there.